Note that I didn't say anything about the framework that I wanted to use or how I want it to go about doing that. The system's going to know there's a main.py file in this app, and it's going to create a fast API hello world server. And now we have a fast API app. And it also set the run command and it triggered the run button. Hey, it's Matt here with Revlet. Today I'm going to show you how to take your assistant game to the next level uh, by dialing in your assistant settings. Uh, and so if you didn't know, there are some settings in Revlet that you can use to customize how assistant behaves and how it responds. We're going to dig into those so you can become a pro at using the assistant. This will make your apps 100% better. Um, so if you head to Replit, if you go to the assistant pane, there's a settings icon. If you click that, you're going to get some settings. We're going to start from the bottom uh, and work our way up um, because even though these are advanced, they are a little simpler. Um, auto restart workflows. When assistant applies changes, it will stop and restart your application. It's basically just like clicking the run button and then clicking stop. Why do we do this? Well, we do it because a lot of times if you're changing backend code, so like a Flask server, etc., um, you have to actually restart the server in order for those changes to take effect. This doesn't happen if you're editing front-end code, like a React app. Um, we do that just to make sure that the changes flow through. If you're working in React and you find that a little cumbersome or like it's interrupting your flow, you can just turn the setting off. Next, auto apply changes. Um, by default, the assistant will ask you if you would like to apply a change. And so you have to click apply. If you just want to apply changes, you can turn the setting on and it'll just automatically apply changes. Um, but next, our most interesting, in my opinion, setting is the custom prompts for assistant. So what are custom prompts? Well, these allow you to specify um, basically a prompt that gets applied to every message you send to an assistant. So to really illustrate how this works, we'll do something fun. We'll call this one Ahoy Matey. You can probably see where I'm going with this. Uh, <laughs> but the prompt will be, you are a pirate. Uh, yar. Uh, and so this prompt, uh, once we select it from the assistant prompt settings, will get applied to all of our messages. So now I can say something like, um, what's up? How will the assistant respond? I have no idea. Let's let's see. Um, so now we have a pirate themed coding assistant. Ta-da. Um, you're probably saying, Matt, that's that's not very helpful. I'm I just want to build apps. Uh, I, I hear you. Um, but if you're thinking ahead, if you're on the same page here, you could imagine doing something like building with a custom framework or building an app where you find that um, assistant or agent make common mistakes, right? Uh, and that would be because the foundation model, the LLMs that these things are built on top of, aren't trained on recent data. Sometimes they make mistakes, right? It might reuse old models. It might put in the wrong text where you want a uh, different kind of text, or maybe you're working with a brand name that gets overwritten, or it's making changes that you find uh, are happening frequently. You can define custom prompts here um, to enforce rules or enforce standards um, that you use in your applications. So as an example, we'll call this one Fast API App. What is Fast API? Fast API is a really fast way to build an API using Python. So if you've built APIs with Python before, maybe you use something like Flask. Fast API is an alternative. A lot of times frameworks bias Flask. They don't use uh, Fast API just, just because that's what the LLM prefers. But for this prompt, I want to say, I'm building a Python app with Fast API. All backend functionality should use um, best practices in Fast API development. Now, it's important to call out that um, if you're trying to do this with a new package that um, the LLM doesn't have context over, like, for example, the package was released after the model was trained, it's not going to, like, intuit this information magically. So you'd have to give a lot of context. Maybe you have to paste in docs or how to use the package. Um, but that's totally applicable. So if I click Save here, then I select Fast API app. Well, now if I go back and I say, um, can you create a simple hello world server. Note that I didn't say anything about the framework that I wanted to use or how I want it to go about doing that. The system's going to know there's a main.py file in this app, and it's going to create a fast API hello world server. Um, and again, assistant can install packages. Uh, it can set the deployment command to run the main file. Um, and this did not apply by default. Now, if I change that setting, it would apply by default. So I'm going to confirm that. It's going to do those things. And now we have a fast API app. And it also set the run command and it triggered the run button. 
just like that, it's following our instructions. So last uh, sort of tip and trick for Assistant in this video are custom prompts. And those can be used to pass additional context. They can be used to specify frameworks or ways that you like to build. But I would think about it uh, more expansively than that. Think about it from a higher level. There are pieces of context that you want to give to AI, context being pieces of information. Um, if you find AI making a common mistake, if you find that AI would perform better if it had um, an additional piece of context and you want to give that context to every message you sent, custom prompts for assistant might be a good way to go. But again, I'm Matt with Revlet. These are, has been like advanced assistant settings. I don't think many people know about, but now you do. So you can go in, you can make the most of assistant. You can build really cool stuff. If you're building cool stuff, drop them in the comments, respond, tell me about it. I love seeing it. We'll feature you in our newsletter. I would love to do that. Um, but until next time, I'm Matt with Replit. Peace.